Okay, folks, what we're looking at today is a Tenma 72-720 20 megahertz scope. Um, the scope is in reasonably good condition. Um, barely a, a little bit of a rub mark here, but otherwise the paint's in good condition all around the scope. Front panel. Switches, knobs, everything are in good condition. It functions well. We're going to take you through all of that. The one bad thing on the, uh, as far as the appearance goes, is that somebody got the scope a little bit too close to a, to a high uh, heat, and he's caused this uh, bezel to buckle a little bit here. So the unfortunate because it's a wonderful scope, and to have its, uh, its look harmed in any way, it's a shame. But that's the way it is. Uh, overlooking that, it's a it's a very nice scope. Uh, we have uh, the scope covers um, 0.5 seconds uh, per division on horizontal trace, uh, maximum to a minimum of 0.2 microseconds per division in 20 steps. Include, and then there's a 21st step on the range switch that's an XY position. Um, we have uh, 12 positions on the vertical. Uh, we cover 20 volts per division to um, 5 millivolts per division in those 12 steps. We have uh, channel 1 only, channel 2 only, dual trace, and then an additive. We right now are in DC. We've got ground and AC inputs, pretty standard but functioning. There's a, um, a trace rotation uh, point here. It's already been rotated and balanced, so I'm not going to mess with it again. But it's functional. Uh, we have the uh, vertical position, which we'll go ahead and move the vertical position of channel 2 to match channel 1 and we see the trace become 1. So we are uh, both both traces are at the same amplitude for the same setting and we're able to do that. Uh, channel 2 also position changes so no problem with that. Um, we have a horizontal adjustment capability. We have trigger. This is in the autom automatic mode so you can see the trigger lose. Or we can put it in normal mode where if you don't have uh, a triggered um, trace you don't get a trace at all. Also a standard scope uh, condition. We right now uh, we have a nice sharp trace. We have reserve intensity. We can take the intensity up to the maximum, back down to the minimum, and then up to a reasonable view. Focus. From a soft blur. Either direction. To sharpness. On off switch, not a problem. And uh, then we have um, an external trigger point. A, uh, right now we are an internal. We could trigger off a of channel two. We could trigger off of line, external. We have uh, coupling filters so we can uh, reject high frequencies, television signal, AC. Uh, the slope, we can change the slope on the waveform. Okay. Um, the only, let's see, we have a uh, component test, which is something new to me, but uh, there is a component test point where you can put in uh, resistor, capacitor, diode, something like that, 
and then you apply a signal to it and observe the waveform and you can uh, you can test out what kind of a device that would be. Um, I cannot test it. I don't have a manual for this unit. I am not familiar with this component test otherwise. Um, but I did replace one of the uh, one of the points here, the terminals, which have been damaged by heat, um, and it's functional. Uh, about the only thing on this scope that isn't functional on this front panel is the magnification of the horizontal. Uh, supposedly you can pull this out and increase the magnification times five. Uh, it does not function. Uh, I have tested the switch. The switch is fine. The, ter the terminals on the board are fine. We have something at board level that's not, and I don't have a circuit to follow, so I, I kind of backed off on it. It isn't something that I use often, uh, almost never, to be honest about it, but um, uh, every other function on the scope seems to be working well. We'll give it a, a series of tests to prove that. I uh, nearly forgot about the um, calibration test point. We have a working calibration test point. Uh, it was one of the achievements in the uh, repair of this thing. I certainly don't want to miss that. Um, provides uh, about a kilohertz at a half volt uh, peak to peak and uh, allows you to calibrate your probes as normal. Uh, I have a probe attached right here. This probe will be coming with the unit. It's brand new. All right, so as I calibrate, I, I look for the squarest square wave and then I'm done calibrating and we've done that on channel 2 we can move to channel 1 and it won't make any difference because it's the same signal anyway and there we go we're on channel 1 and here we're on channel 2 So the uh, calibration test point is functioning just fine. One of the uh, one of the achievements in the repair of this thing was to eliminate a rather severe grounding problem, uh, was causing, uh, especially in the low uh, volt positions, quite a bit of hum in the uh, signal. Uh, that's been eliminated totally. So we'll continue on with the test.